Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last session, I have given a brief checklist on different types of solid dielectric breakdown. The first one is intrinsic breakdown. The second one is electromechanical breakdown. And uh, next is thermal breakdown. Then failure due to treeing and tracking. Then electrochemical breakdown. And at last, breakdown due to internal discharge. In this session, I will be providing the information regarding uh, intrinsic breakdown or ionic breakdown. What do you mean by intrinsic breakdown or ionic breakdown? Intrinsic breakdown, you can call it intrinsic breakdown or, or else you can call it ionic breakdown. Ionic breakdown. Both are correct. What do you mean by intrinsic breakdown or ionic breakdown? So, Usually, a small number of free electrons always present in all type of solid dielectric material. That is true fact. Presence of free electrons. A few free electrons. A few number of a few number of free electrons. A few number of free electrons will be always present. Will be always present. In solid dielectrics, solid dielectrics. That is a true fact. Whenever you are applying high voltage, whenever you are applying high voltage, electrons start colliding. Those free electrons, those free electrons that is getting collided. Whenever you are applying high voltage, whenever you are applying high voltage, the free electrons uh, getting collided. Those free electrons will be providing. A special conductive path. That means whenever you are applying high voltage, what happened? Collision. The collision of free electron will be taken place. Because of that, it provides a special conductive path. It provides a special conductive path. A special conductive path. Because of high voltage, the it, it provides a special conductive path. This results dielectric breakdown. If uh, solid dielectric materials are conductive means the automatically the property has been degraded. What does it mean? Dielectric breakdown is taken place. So this type of breakdown is generally called as intrinsic breakdown or ionic breakdown. Hope my information is clear to you. Moreover, ionic breakdown can be or ionic breakdown or the intrinsic breakdown that can be divided into two. There are two classifications. There are two types. Intrinsic breakdown or ionic breakdown. Intrinsic breakdown or I will be writing here. Ionic breakdown. It can be divided into two classifications. There are two subdivisions. First one is known as avalanche breakdown. Avalanche breakdown. The second one is known as electronic breakdown. Avalanche breakdown will be 100% similar to gaseous dielectric breakdown. It is closely similar. I wouldn't like to explain again. Avalanche breakdown we already discussed in a gaseous dielectric material. All the phenomena, all the steps are 100% common regarding avalanche breakdown. Formation of avalanche, then space charge, then creation of ex extra electric field and finally causing the dielectric breakdown. Please re refer my previous videos. Then you will be getting good information regarding avalanche breakdown. The concept is applicable for uh, solid dielectric material as well as gaseous dielectric material. That is called avalanche breakdown. Again, I would like to explain. Next one is called electronic breakdown. What is the reason for the formation of electronic breakdown? The main reason for the formation of electronic breakdown is the presence of high density or large density. Presence of presence of large density large density presence of large density free electrons free electrons in solid dielectrics in solid dielectrics that is the main reason for causing uh, electronic breakdown presence of high density or large density free electrons in a solid dielectrics uh, will be responsible for electronic breakdown whenever you are applying high voltage uh, the large density free electron getting collided Re that result the formation of special conductive path 
if if solid dielectric material is having a special conductive path means uh, the property has been degraded this result dielectric breakdown so this phenomenon is known as electronic breakdown so intrinsic breakdown can be divided into two categories avalanche breakdown as well as electronic breakdown in avalanche breakdown the concept is 100% similar to gaseous dielectric breakdown which i explained already similarly electronic breakdown the main reason is presence of large density free electron so these are the information regarding uh, intrinsic breakdown or ionic breakdown i would like to conclude this session uh, today i have explained what is intrinsic breakdown what are the main reasons for intrinsic breakdown and how do you classify intrinsic breakdown there are two classification first one is avalanche breakdown and second one is electronic breakdown that's all about electronic breakdown thanks for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe thank you again